Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hello everyone, checking in on Twitter, GoPro X and CHK on the daily and the weekly time frame. So the C or the Twitter bulls formed a bullish reversal candlestick, still rejecting from exponential resistance. This really isn't proving much, but it's a start for the bulls. At this point, we're going to have to break 1648, the high of the last bounce attempt in order to prove anything. So we're either going to have to see a really strong start to next week, or we're going to see a bounce. We're going to reject yet again, and then we're going to pull back and form a higher low and then look to break 1642 but as you can see we still are rejecting from these exponential resistances and we haven't confirmed a bullish reversal candlestick with clarity this entire move we've seen two green days in a row but they've seen upper wicks and no real follow-through so bulls need to see a nice strong follow-through day a break of 1606 the high of friday and a strong close on the daily time frame we're also keeping an eye out for a bullish mac decross but it will require a higher low and a higher high in order to see that follow through in my opinion so the weekly time frame, we don't really have much support established down here. The bulls are looking to establish a new level of support, the low of last week of 1567. Still not a bullish reversal candlestick here on the weekly time frame as well, which is another point to the fact that the bulls don't really have much momentum at this point. We also saw weakness in SPY at the end of the week. And if we see further downside in SPY to start next week, that's only going to inhibit the Twitter bulls from trying to see some follow through. GoPro on the daily time frame, bullish reversal candlestick. This was a good entry day. And if you did make a bullish entry here, you would exit if 961 were to break. And more cautious traders would wait for confirmation of this candlestick because the weakness in the overall market is a little bit daunting that the bulls might want to hold off and see how that plays out on Monday. But if you are entering on this bullish reversal candlestick, again, the very, the very clear stop loss level is 961. Bulls have to break 998 and see a nice green day to confirm this candlestick on monday volume is tapering off which is a good sign on that consolidation for the bulls they want to see an increase in volume over 5 million shares traded ideally on monday and have it be a green day the weekly time frame is a big upper wick of profit taking it is a bearish reversal candlestick rejecting from the 50 week moving average resistance so next week we're going to be watching either a close above the 50 week resistance or below the upper bollinger band support it's a very tight little channel there where we are still bullish above the upper Bollinger Band, but obviously that upper wick is not the kind of candlestick that the bulls want to see here. So if we do see further downside at 961 is not the bottom, then we will be looking for a higher low on the weekly time frame to form, which could happen all the way down in the low $9 range. So that 961 is a key important level in the short term, as is 931 before we start filling the gap to the downside. X on the daily time frame, very clear bear break. So we were bouncing around in between this channel between middle Bollinger Band support and 100 day moving average resistance for the previous three days. Then a clear bear break, we saw a gap down open, back tested and rejected from the middle Bollinger Band resistance and closed near the low of the day. So I was anticipating a bear break here because of the all out dump and the bounce that we saw. Looked like the bulls tired themselves out on that bounce. And now we're looking for lower highs and potentially lower lows to form because we did see such significant downside from earnings. So the key support is going to be the low that we've seen since earnings. 2233 is our new base of support, and we have a new channel to be watching between moving averages. The 50-day moving average, which will be in the 2250s on Monday, and the 100-day, which has rejected the price multiple times last week. The weekly time frame for X is rejecting from the middle Bollinger Band resistance for the second time in three weeks. So still weakness here, not really much follow-through from the bullish MACD cross, and that earnings momentum getting completely taken away and taking all of the momentum out of the bull sales in general. CHK on the daily time frame is a bullish reversal candlestick. Same thing though, we're going to be looking for a lower high to form on this bounce. It can be a bearish entry opportunity where we take a step back, look for the bulls to tire themselves out. Key resistance is up at 448, still a long way away, almost 6% to the upside. And exponential resistance still driving the price down. Weekly time frame, you can see a very bearish week. No sign of the bulls on the weekly time frame. And the next support after 405, the low of this week, would be down at 393 and then all the way down to 356. So a very bearish chart overall. And we had a clear bear break of this head and shoulders pattern back down when 488 broke. And it's been nothing but weakness since then. 
So Bears in full control of CHK, more so than any other name on this list. Bears taking back over the daily time frame for X. And the Bears on Twitter taking back over after the reaction here to earnings. So I appreciate you watching. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend, and we'll see you throughout next week.